Hello everyone. This is Shivanshu Kumar, assistant professor at IMT College of Management, Greater Noida. And today I am going to present uh, a PowerPoint presentation on business communication. So let's start. So presentation outline first of all. Uh, the following are the contents that we are going to cover business communication types of organizational communication process of communication types of communication nonverbal communication its characteristics forms advantage and disadvantage body languages and its types So let's start with business communication. Uh, what is business communication? So business communication is a process of sharing information between people within the workplace or an organization that is performed for commercial benefit of the organization. So uh, when we talk about communication, it's sharing of ideas or thoughts through various forms, uh, for example, like speaking or uh, gestures that we'll be talking later on. And when we use it in business organization or business, it becomes business communication. So uh, let's uh, say what is effective business communication. So effective business communication is how employees and management interact to reach organizational goals. And its purpose is to improve organizational practices and reduce the errors. So uh, when the business communication is more effective, then there will be less chances of errors in the organization as people will follow the same instruction and there will be less amount of noise. Okay. So type of organizational or business communication. So uh, business communication can also be said as organizational communication. There are basically two types. First one is internal communication. And internal communication is the communication which is responsible for effective communications among participants within an organization for achieving the common goals or objectives of an organization. So all the communication that is happening inside the business premises is known as internal communication. This internal communication should be effective so that the organizational goals can be achieved in an efficient manner. The second one is external communication. And external communication is transfer or exchange of information outside the organization or between the company and external entities such as customers, businesses, suppliers, partners, investors, government agencies and law enforcement. And the uh, most important thing in external communication is feedback. So customer's feedback is a part of external communication. For example, we are selling a product and once we reach out the customer about how they have, uh, you know, reviewed the product or how they are feeling about the product. When we are taking the feedback of that product, it is a kind of external communication. Also, when we talk about suppliers or other businesses or partners as well as government agency, that is also external business communication. I think this is clear. Okay. Process of communication. Now we all know, basically it's a simple, uh, you know, process. First one is sender who sends the message is the sender including encoding means that to keep our data private we encode the message that we want to send so that we can have privacy after that there is a communication channel through which that information or the communication that we have transferred goes on that is media or communication channel after that receiver it goes to the receiver and decoding so it's just opposite of encoding once the message was encrypted earlier the message was encrypted and it was into binary language basically it is sometimes binary language or any other language now it will be de decrypted 
So decoding means decrypting the data or information that has been traveled through a communication channel. After decoding the message, the receiver gets the message and they give the feedback. So after feedback, there is one extra factor which is known as noise that comes when the message is encoded and which goes through communication channel there can be noise so while communicating we must ensure that there is minimum noise okay i think uh, the process of communication is clear types of communication uh, so earlier there were two major types that we have already discussed that is internal communication as well as external communication now uh, that can be the communication can be divided to uh, several other uh, factors also like verbal communication non verbal communication oral communication as well as written communication so verbal communication means when we are speaking something that is known as verbal communication now non verbal can be of several types like when we are like using eye contacts using gestures using uh, many other you know facial expressions that can be a non-verbal communication oral communication is a sort of uh, you know verbal communication only but there is more you know two or more people are engaged while there is an oral communication written communication is uh, on the pen and paper when we are writing something or we are expressing our thoughts after writing it on paper so these are several times that we'll be discussing in later on in this video okay i think it is clear so this is a pictorial form of non-verbal communication where they are using their hands to express their things this is kind of non-verbal so this is my topic non-verbal communication the non-verbal communication is a communication without verb words Non-verbal communication can be defined as a communication done without speaking or writing. That is our topic, non-verbal communication. And uh, it is done by speaking or writing. This is done without speaking or writing. It is a process of sending or receiving wordless messages. Such messages can be communicated through body language, postures, as well as facial expressions. Okay. Characters of non-verbal communication. So majorly we will be discussing non-verbal communication in this video. The characters of non-verbal communication is features. Uh, for they, they are for some features of this uh, non-verbal communication that we are discussing now. Non-verbal communication is powerful because when we are using gestures, we are using, you know, our body languages. It is more powerful and aggressive, we can say. is ambiguous. Once you are using eye contact with someone, or maybe they connect with you. Nonverbal communication cannot express a message that is very important. Although they'll get a hint about what you are saying. But if I'm like this, can I just peep into you? And I just rotate my eyes. So there may be a chance that you may not get a clear message. So it cannot express a message. forms of non-verbal communication now we are discussing eye contact as i'm saying this if i'm not speaking and i'm making eye contact with you like this this is a eye contact facial expression like i'm sad or i'm happy i can make faces posture now postures that means what is your posture how you are like body overall body haptics or touch now haptic is something like if I'm pressing something or like if I'm touching something that can be a communication. For example, if I'm waking you up like this, then it is a communication. Gestures using facial or hand gestures is a type. Personal space. Personal space means there is a bubble that is created for you. That is known as a personal space. For example, if someone says to you, give me some space. That means he is asking for a personal space in his life. So that is a kind of personal space that each person deserves. And importance of non-verbal communication that we are discussing. Communication 
like non verbal communication importance that we are discussing now so with non verbal communication we can communicate with handicapped people like for example if there is someone who cannot speak from birth if someone cannot speak from birth then he is a kind of handicapped person or if someone is like not able to speak then we can use non verbal communication conveying message to illiterate people we can convey message to illiterate people through non verbal communication quick expression of message for example once a race is started before that someone claps then it can be a size of quick expression of message presenting information precisely if i don't want to write something i can express is express the following thing through my you know expressions that i can do quick and understandable response so it it is quick for example i gesture is quick if i am saying like this so this can be ambiguous but if someone connects to me then it can say that i am doing like this to so shut the light off that can be a message communicate communicates commonly to all the public as well that's how we do now advantages as well as disadvantages of non verbal communication that we are talking about so advantages of non verbal communication is suitable for illiterate receivers now we have already discussed it is suitable for illiterate receivers encourage communication skills through non verbal communication we can encourage the communication skills simple explanation there is no scientific uh, reason behind non verbal communication we can simply you know why my hands or why my gestures you can easily understand my message easy presentation we don't need to do anything in non verbal communication eliminate time wastage you don't need a pen paper you don't need to speak it's just the gestures that you are using or facial expressions that is non verbal communication helps in making decision quickly if i clap and people starts running then it's a instinct of time within seconds so that's how it is so popular to use facial expressions or non verbal communication there are advantages now let's move to disadvantages vague and imprecise multi channel very important see disadvantages are really very important for the non verbal communication because they, it lacks following features what it is vague it is not clear although you are giving a non verbal communication but it cannot be a clear message for example if i am doing like this like this that i am saying that it is for closing lights but for someone they may understand something else so that's how non verbal communication works cultural bond it depends on culture or culture to culture that how people understand those expressions those gestures so it is culturally bond long conversation are not possible difficult to understand i think most of you had played that uh, uh, game in which people use uh, gestures or facial expressions to express a song that is a kind of non verbal communication where you can you have to guess a song based on your facial expressions as well as your gestures so that is a kind of non verbal communication now it takes time to you to understand that song and but if i sing a song then you will be understanding that instantly so it is long for it is not for long conversations and it is very difficult to understand okay not everybody prefers non verbal communication generally uh, when we talk about business communication generally uh, it is verbal communication that is most, mostly prefer or written communication that is mostly preferred non verbal communication is regarded as a sign of informal communication in most of the times lack of formality that's what i am saying it is not a for formal kind of presentation it is generally used in informal uh, you know scenarios informal communication scenarios okay i hope you understood this 
body language now we'll starting with the non verbal communication we are telling here about body language body language is a range of non verbal signals that you can use to communicate your feelings or intentions these includes your posture facial expressions and hand gestures your ability to understand and interpret other people's body language you can help to pick up or unspoken issues or feelings so this is a kind of body language that you know you all know this uh, facial expression gestures and postures great so this is a uh, 11 types of body language that is eye gaze hand gestures emblems para language blocking proxemics interest facial expressions specifying haptics and ornaments that we are using in body language facial expressions now facial expressions see here uh, there are several kinds of facial expression in first facial expression he is normal in second he is happy in, in the third he is like doubtful in fourth he is sad in fifth he is normal in fifth he is tired like this so you can understand through facial expressions that how that person is feeling so facial expressions are the key characters of non verbal communication your facial expression communicate happiness sadness anger or fear that i have already told you see those expressions and you can easily understand how that person is feeling at that time i hope you understood eye contact now eye contact is a characteristic of non verbal communication expresses much without using a single word and american culture maintaining eye contact shows respect and integrate interest now here is a cultural barrier if you are using eye contact uh, in the US, uh, that can be a different thing. But if you are using uh, eye contact with your teacher, that shows you as a person who is having like overconfidence or he is not respecting the teachers. So eye contact is also having a cultural burial. If you are using it in America, then uh, that uh, eye contact can be a confidence. But if you are using in India, it can be a sign of disrespect also. Uh, for example, if you are uh, contact, using an eye contact with your elderly teacher, then it can be a sign of disrespect as well. So, eye contact also establishes nature of relationship. That's eye contact. Let's start with next topic. Postures. Now that's body postures. Postures and how you carry yourself, walk, sit, stand, hold your head, not only indicates your uh, current mood but also personality in general. For example, let me just. For example, if you cross your arms while standing, you indicate that you may have closed off and you are defensive. And if you are not making eye, eye contact, other may feel shyness. So if you are like standing straight and you are standing comfortable, there are two ways which you can stand. And both will uh, show different type of body posture will show your attitude at that time. For example, if you are standing straight, you may be you know, like, you may be worried for something or you are nervous. You are, you are standing like comfortably and then it means you are relaxed that how posture works as a communication haptics or touch how you shake hands haptic communication is communicated by touch touch or haptics is the character of nonverbal communication and used when we communicate physical contact with other people for example we are using headset to gain trust and introduce ourselves okay gestures now gesture is a character of nonverbal communication which body actions communicate particular message Gesture include movement of hand, face, and other parts of the body. These are gestures and feedback, haptic feedbacks that you know. Personal space is very important. Now, what is personal space? Personal space is a kind of communication that we are communicating to oneself. Um, when we talk about from on our part, then only it is known as personal space. So here it is written: personal space is a bubble. The space you place between yourself and other it is this is a visible boundary become apparent only when someone comes and tries to enter your